Hello guys and welcome to our highlights from our game against Paul. This game saw many rivalries. Danny Holland's up against former Bournemouth teammate Fogden, former Gosport striker Matt Tubbs now managing Paul. But despite all the reunions, Gosport showed no mercy. In the third minute, Johnny Fedge tried to play on Wooden behind the Paul defence, but unfortunately the striker couldn't reach the ball, which would have been a guaranteed goal. Five minutes later, Gosport had their first opportunity on target, winning the midfield battle between the Bournemouth players. Hollins chipped a pass into Johnny Fedge, but with defence behind him, Johnny took a quick shot, going straight into the keeper's palms. Good skill from Parado on the 16th minute saw the defender lay a pass into Tony Lee, but running through on goal, Lee got his short cross, dragging it just wide at the Gosport post. The next opportunity saw a great chance for Paul to get the opener. A free kick was awarded 30 yards out from goal, with Lee stepping up to take it. The striker hit the ball under the wall heading towards goal, but Stewart pulled off a great save to deny the goal, with good chemistry with Vazma seeing the defender clear it away from the danger zone. After good defensive duties, Vazma also showed off his attacking skills. Already in the box from a corner, Vazma picked up a loose ball and guided the ball onto fellow defender Jordan. However, unlike last week, Jordan blazed the ball over the bar instead of going in the goal. Moments later, Paul players were screaming for a penalty after Kavanagh brought down Pardew just outside of the box and the referee gave a free kick inches away from the box. Yet again, Lee stood up taking the shot but Barca got a touch to divert the shot wide. Minutes after the second half kicked off, Paul were instantly on the attack. A good string of passes eventually saw Murray have an angle at goal. Getting a fingertip save, Stewart managed to tip the ball over the bar to deny the goal. But even Stewart couldn't do anything about what Paul was about to conjure up next. A low pass from goalkeeper Evans saw Tony head the ball onto Holmes, sending him past the Gosport defence. The attacker then smashed the ball past Stewart to give the home side the 1 0 lead. Things then went bad to worse as Paul quickly added a second to the tally. A ball in from Hutchinson found Jordan with the defender unknowingly heading the ball towards Lee, who hit the first time volley past Stewart to reinforce the goal advantage, making it 2 0. Even when we were 2 0 down, Gospel just couldn't seem to get any hold of the game. Goal scorer Holmes almost got the third of the night, but diving low, Stewart got a hand to the ball to deny the third. Even with subs and a change of tactic, Gospel just couldn't get into the rhythm of the game, and the game finished 2-0. Unfortunately, that does bring an end to our unbeaten streak in the league, but we go again in the FA Cup against Croops this Saturday. But final words, up the borough.